don't think there was a way out of here. I want to go back this way again. Big slime pit room. Door to the north. And door to the south. North first. Another gallon jug. More bleach. Ooh, actually I want super blue. Bedroom with a hazmat soldier. Uh, don't really care. Feline serum. Finally getting to some good stuff. Probably kill these blobs. Just for the blob globs, if nothing else. That's all I can go up that direction. I don't think I'm going to stop looking in these refrigerators. Practices for compound delivery. Internal manual details several varieties of mutagenic experiments as well as describing the protocols used to concentrate mutagens for quicker results. <laughs> uh, it'd be so nice. I would love to be able to read that book. That would be awesome. Alright, I think I've just about worked myself into a corner again. kind of confusing here pretty quick. Just 
this one I was already... I think this is the one I've already been to. Yeah, I already unloaded that flashlight. This one is running out pretty quick as well. Can't go that way. I think we're going to have to pick a route down now. So this is back to where I was. Let's get that closed off. Stat wise, we're doing fine. Um, our arm bite disappeared. Head back in, down a floor, and I actually need to. Um, we're going to be going a little deeper into this one, so I'm going to we'll just use batteries. All right, downstairs and drop one battery. Hello, turret. All right, we won't be using this handy dandy spot. All right, so unfortunately, we can't use that quick and easy location. But from here, I gotta find another stairs down. trying to remind myself not to go down those stairs. <laughs> 
Alright, back this way. Let's try this room. Yay, no bots down here. Temperature still doing fine. Head just inched into the cold region, but that's not a problem. Have some sweet bread. Have a lot of sweet bread, and we're good to go. Alright, uh, north. God, come on. Give me a room with counters with stuff on it. Stuff other than just a syringe. Or empty glass jars. Nope. This is the exact area where I was hoping to get the kind of stuff, but they didn't give me any. Alright, so from the north of here to Kelly Lee, to Kelly Lee. That's nice. Alright, let's go talk to who that, that person. Is that a cyborg? Scientist? No man hacks, please. Ooh, he didn't drop his acid bomb. Thank you very much. And no bionics we can use. What's in the containment? I can't see because of the stupid computer. Ah, just a brute. Man hex. Ooh, no, don't step into the dissector. Blob and man hex. No shoggoth. <laughs> Oh, there is a Shoggoth. <laughs> God damn it. I keep putting Shoggoths in my maps. <sighs> God damn it. Be a nice little Shoggoth. Stay inside your room. Pocket creature warp container. Never heard of it. A creature creature holding container in the form of a small ball based on highly experimental PRM warp packing technology. Allows a safe transport of creatures, but seems to conserve weight, making its use impractical impractical. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Never heard of one before. Kevlar plates. Nah. Apparently there's somebody loose in the barracks.
Ah, so many opportunities. Clean water, clean water, clean water, and a lab journal. And empty, of course. Oh! Close! <laughs> Come on, lab. Give me some stupid lab stuff. God, another huge room, but completely empty. Damn it. I guess I'm not as excited about those body sights as I used to be now that I can craft my own mutagen by the bucket load. Alright, we're locked in that direction. I sure don't like to put any body parts in their little containers. This floor has been just all of these containers. Uh, I've been lots of ladders both up and down. Still got a few directions to go. This floor has been pretty big, but very little of actual use. I've been in from that direction. I've been that direction. Hmm. I might have to go down another level here pretty quick. Like right now. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh oh, from the northwest. From the wait, from the northeast, northeast, and east. All right, let's go west. Stop giving me all the damn journals. I 
again I hit this sequence of rooms that's the good one to find but I don't get a single useful item funnel and a fire extinguisher all right blocked off from any further western travel I don't know, so far I'm not too impressed with the contents of this lab. We were having better luck in the ice lab. Oh, what you got for me? Ursine serum. And a chemistry set. <laughs> Could have used you a couple episodes back. Um, do I want to take the chemistry sets? I don't think I do. Alright, can't go south, can't go west. Ah, the useless room. Hello, acid zombie. Hello. <laughs> That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. Another chemistry set. <laughs> Alright, multiple man hacks again. Always to my south. Doors to my south. Doors east. And doors north. Broken man hack, and I see bullet casings on the ground. Did the man hack kill a turret? I 
Hello there. What do we got up here? Armored Zombie. Broken Skitterbot. Plutonium Cell. Broken Skitterbot. The FTK-93 Fusion Gun. Quantum Solar Panels. Fusion Packs. Laser Pistols. Laser Rifles. Computer Printouts. Oh boy. Armored Zombie. Despite being encased in this malfunctioning wreck of what was once an impenetrable suit of power armor, something still managed to kill this soldier. Was a power armored zombie. Sixty four bash and cut protection, huh? I could toss grenades at him. I don't know if a grenade would have enough to actually penetrate either. I didn't really bring any. I could toss the acid bomb. What's his condition? He's full condition, full health. Um is this thing gonna be locked? <laughs> Closed reinforced glass door. Smashable. Yeah, sure it is. My worry is what kind of weaponry has he got? Is he going to use high-end weaponry on me? I'm going to assume he can't see very far. Let's um, turn off the flashlight. Here he comes. He's in that little room. I could run over there and shut the door on him. <laughs> I think I've got everything of value out of here, though. I've got enough science ID cards. I don't care about that. I think I should just get out of here. And I'm going to get out of here the route that I know can actually let me leave. <laughs> All right, well, we got a laser rifle, a fusion gun, a laser pistol, a fusion pack, five plutonium cells, UPS. Warp container. 
Ursine serum, quantum solar panels. It's quite the haul if I can get back out with it. I mean, the, the fusion pack goes with the fusion gun. So, I mean, I could, I could load the fusion gun up and go back in there and deal with him. <laughs> but I don't see a reason to. <laughs> hey there, Ken Ken. We are down in the lab finally. We just got some really good stuff. Um, well, let's, let's reload this thing while we've got the ability to. Fusion gun, powerful fusion rifle. Can only hold two rounds at a time, but a special superheating unit causes its bolts to be extremely deadly. Damage 52, armor piercing 15. And it needs five charges of UPS per shot. I don't have an active UPS. I actually couldn't fire it, so the only UPS I've got with me is uh, zeroed out at the moment. I, you got me. Maybe it's from the poke. I don't have a Pokemon mod <laughs> installed that I know about, unless it's bundled in with PKs. Pocket creature warp container is what it's called. That's the details on it right there. Never seen one before. All right, so we got in and out of that uh, high-end loot room without having to deal with the power-armored zombie soldier. I don't see a reason to go back in there. So let's keep looking around. Ah, damn it, dead end. Can't get through there. How's my space doing? I'm right at the edge of my space requirement. I really should be heading back out. Another one of these 9 by 9 room sequences where I hope to find the stuff that I really want. Ooh, hello scientist with the man hack. Come here, little bastard. Took a little too long, but we got him. Alright, no good bionics. I've already got power armor <laughs> sitting in the back of my vehicle that I can't wear because of my tail. <laughs> so the draw of potential power armor really isn't all that great for me. And I can always go rob banks if I want power armor, if I can even start wearing it again. So not too concerned about the power armor. I should really just work my way back up top. I'm full. I've got some good loot. Only got one serum, though. I'm kind of torqued about that. Head back this way. I'm not sure I covered every single direction back here. No, oh, never mind. Up we go. And don't have a good idea of where I'm going on these levels to get back to. Alright, up we go. Got to be careful not to pop up into a. Uh... Is that the room? Yep, that's the room with all the man hacks. All right. 
That one we're going to try to avoid if we can. Is there another way out of here? Oh, never mind. Right here. Up we go. There were so many ladders or stairs, it shouldn't be too hard. And here we go. Alright, we're out. Well, that was a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Plutonium cells, quantum solar panel, ursine serum. Creature container. Another UPS. And then our fusion pack, laser pistol, fusion gun, and laser rifle. Pretty good haul. We're hungry and thirsty. We don't have any big issues going on. We'll turn the nanobots on for just a moment. All right, healed up. All right, just finished off our sweet bread. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the mutation list currently. Yeah, it has been a while since I did an update, so... Cataclysm, Vormithrax, the Drunk Master Mutant Challenge, playing a black belt with the Zui Quan, the drunken boxing style martial art, with the drunken master trait and the illiterate trait. So no book reading. Can't read books for skills, can't read books for recipes, can't use computers. Makes it a lot harder and it's been interesting to kind of work my way around that. You can see what skills we have managed to accumulate. The only thing I started with was 888 in unarmed melee and dodging as well as I took three throwing um, for throwing sticks to give me some kind of a ranged fight ability. Other than that, everything else we've earned the very hard way of actually using that skill over and over again. No books. Um, so we've gotten to where we're at. We've got pretty good stats now. Strength is 17, intelligence 18, dex 13, perception's a bit low, but uh, we haven't been focused much on that. And we don't have many traits that uh, affect it really. We've gone up and down the trait list quite a bit, so we've had the list all the way down off the bottom of the screen and had it had to scroll, and uh, we've been purifying quite a bit because we had a couple of them that were just really, really bad. One of them made me supersize, and I couldn't fit in my vehicle or any of my clothes, and it was a real big problem. So we had to take a bunch of purifiers and drink a whole crap load of, of uh, mutagens to try to get that to roll back, and we finally managed it. And then we also have heat dependence, which is causing us to lose a lot of speed. And it was cold-blooded. We managed to downgrade at one level, but uh, one more level would make me happy if that would go away. So, that's kind of where we're sitting. We do have some good ones, though. We've got the club tail, which is kind of a mixed bag. It keeps me from wearing my power armor, but it gives us an automatic attack. Uh, we've got extremely strong, which is plus four strength, which is good. Fleet-footed, uh, high night vision, which I'm currently taking advantage of here in the, uh, the lab. Pheromones I could care less about. Um... Spines is a minor bonus, and tough is a minor bonus, so really the big ones are pretty much the ones I mentioned, and uh, I just wish I could get rid of that heat dependence. That would be awesome if that would go away. I haven't managed to track down any more purifiers, unfortunately. We've gotten a couple of serums out of here, but no more purifiers, and I can't make any. Um, I'll never be able to make any because of my illiteracy, so I just have to take what they give me. Um... So it might be time, I'm trying to decide, do I keep running downstairs here and wandering around, or... That didn't seem like it was very deep to get to the point I was just at. Um... I think I was only down three levels. Um, you can have an NPC teach you to read to get rid of the illiteracy? Never heard of that before. Didn't know that was a possibility. I think I've got random NPCs turned off, though. So unless, like, one of the refugee center ones would do it, that'd be the only option. Yeah, I've got random NPCs turned off. So... 
Don't think that has any chance of happening. <laughs> My question right now is, do I dive back down into the lab? Um, running into power armor equipped soldiers is pretty rude, but uh, we've got the high night vision. I did finally find a standard lab. It's like lab number 9 or 10. That's where we're at right now. This lab we just located is a standard lab. It's a really nice area actually, so we're going to be here for a while. We've got this lab that I'm currently exploring. We've got a motel nearby that's got the pool for any water. We've got swamps if I happen to need any raw materials or salt water um, for cooking uh, and getting salt. Um, so plenty of raw materials to practice a few of the skills that I need to get up. We've got a city just right down the road to the south that's a fair good size. So, and then a lot of dead end points that might be more labs or other specialty locations we can check out. So after a very large amount of wandering, I'll do the map scroll again so the new folks can see. This is what it has happened over the last few episodes. Do, 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 do. And then this direction. And up this way. And up this way. <laughs> we have covered a ridiculous amount of the map. This is where I started, right here. This was our original first location we went to, and we had all of this explored in as well, but our map got corrupted when the save file, the uh, client crashed while it was auto-saving, and it uh, reset our map in that area. But uh, yeah, a whole lot of places we've been, a lot of driving. Yeah, we're way, way, way far away from that first area we were in, Dura. <laughs> way far away. <laughs> but I like this new area, so this new area has proven pretty good. So the armory is not the final. Is that what that was, an armory? Um... I mean, I'm excited about the guns and all, but I'm really not using guns, so <laughs> I haven't had a need for guns. Um, I'm actually more excited about the 1500 batteries we've pulled out than anything. And of course the two uh, serums. It just didn't seem that deep. That was only three levels down. I think I will go back down. I have no idea. You have to use the serums to cross the cross threshold. You can't do it from just straight mutagens. So I've got an earth sign and a feline mutagen. I'm just not sure how far down either of these paths I am. It's hard to tell from the dreams that I'm getting. I think I'm getting the chimera dream. So... I'm not 100% certain what's going to happen if I try to take these serums. I may cross a threshold as soon as I take one of these. I'm not overly concerned about it. This is the first time I've attempted this particular one, and I haven't done a mutation run in or forever, so I've just had totally forgotten most of the mutation rules. And I'm going to be doing a mutation uh, episode of my Cataclysm University series, so this is partially me relearning the mutation stuff so I can... Uh, put together a decent university episode for it to help people. Yeah, the dreams I'm still getting that I remember are the hoof, tooth, tail, fight, flight, 
whatever, that one. I'm not sure what that represents for certain, but uh, kind of where we're at. <laughs> hey, thanks, Ken Ken. Appreciate you following. I am going to jump back down in the lab, though, so I'm just too excited to have something that is not... Hey, really appreciate the subscription. Uh, I'm too excited the, uh, to get one that's not an ice lab. Man, we had so much problems with those ice labs. Those were not cool. Let's, um... I've forgotten. I had so much talking, I forgot which direction my path was to get back downstairs in a fast fashion. This will do. So that's one level down. Or this is second level. This is third level. And I, again, I forgot which direction to go. Is that going to light up? Nope. Alright, so I've got an option there. And this is the, what, what did I say, third level, fourth level? So here, one, two, three. Alright, so I'm four levels down now. I think this is where I just was. Alright. Uh, is this going to be the same room from another direction? Kind of looking like the same room. So I think this is the room I just came out of. Yeah, science ID card. All right, so there's a power armor equipped guy in here. I went out at the south door last time. So I'm back to where I just was. So I can't do anything useful that way. Can't go in there. And go this way. Dead end. Dead end, dead end. Not going to try to get into barracks or anything like that. Not seen any down ladders either. Down ladders have been pretty plentiful till I hit this floor. north of me is that room again, so I think this is as far as I can go unless I happen to find some kind of uh, ladder up to the next floor that takes me over to a different section. So we may actually be done in here for now. Yep. Just running in a circle now, and I didn't see any other things down.
Let's go ahead and head out. Um, I think we got some pretty good stuff out of here. As I remember where my path out was, now I've forgotten my directions again. I think there was a stair in one of these rooms. Alright, we're out. Six thirty in the morning. Not tired yet, but uh that'll probably change. Let's move that down here. Alright, slide this stuff uh all to there. Toss it on the back of the vehicle, and then we'll make some decisions here. So we got the lab. I think it's for now fairly well clear. I couldn't find any other routes around on that last floor that I got to. I got to a special room with some good loot in it. We got a couple of serums. A little disappointed we didn't get any purifier, but uh, we got a lot of other places we can look at here pretty quick. Um, Focus-wise, I'm thinking, like I said, head over to the motel, clear the area, get some food uh, dehydrated with the batteries that I just picked up, and uh, maybe do some crafting. Well, I've got access, easy access to the food and the water. I'll have lots of raw materials to uh, do the low-level tailoring with. I'd like to get my tailoring up to five or six, so I have access to some better options. Um, and can repair, hopefully, a few of the pieces of gear, so I don't have to be constantly on the lookout for replacement gear I can pick up from body sites. And then maybe go down and do another skateboard run or roller skating run through a town during the middle of the day. Those are always fun. I've lost a lot of my speed up traits, unfortunately, unless we do another round of uh, mutagens, which we can do. I'm not opposed to it. I can make so many mutagens now that I can just power my way right through really negative consequences if we get some. Um, let's get over to the motel, and then we'll go ahead and uh, take some mutagens. That sounds like a fun time. Kind of what the whole point of this playthrough is about, is getting really, really stupid with the uh, mutations and seeing what happens. We've come back from really bad situations twice now. <laughs> See if we can do it a third time. Alright, the... Uh, I could cook some up right here where I've got some killed already. Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, pool's kind of on the back side. Oh, is that first aid kits I see on the ground over there? 
It is first aid kits. Wow. All right. Pool's over here, so I need to actually pull up right the way I'm facing. That'll work out pretty good. Um, right there will just about do it. <laughs> good old bush stopped me cold again. All right, I think that'll work just fine. I should be close enough to the water. All right, stop driving. Let's pile out the far side. Come here, stupid ant. Come get some. Anybody else want a piece of this? fresh meat for now, I guess. Alright, just want to make sure the immediate area around the vehicle is fairly clear. We've got ants really close to us, an ant hill right over here. So, we're a carnivore, so food should not be a problem with the ant hill proximity. Uh, I'm in our ease with killing them. Okay, it is daylight. Um, oh, really? I'm getting cold? Yeah. Minus 43, minus 48. All right, let's turn on our internal climate control. Now, how am I feeling? I'm feeling just fine, thank you very much. Kind of keep an eye and keeping an eye on that ant, seeing how hostile they are. Looks like we'll be okay. Yeah, as soon as I step into the vehicle, he charges. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right, that's plenty of meat. I'm not going to worry about the rest. Hey there, Nug. Welcome to the channel. Come here, you stupid ant. Alright, not going to worry about food, I think. I think we're doing pretty good on the dehydrated meat. We're not going through nearly enough of it to really worry about. Uh, reset all. Oops. Reset all. Yeah, we're up to 150 dehydrated meat, so we're fine. Let's get some other fun stuff done. All right, so we have got... I'll sort this out here in a little bit. But uh, we picked up some more ammonia, so we can make mutagens. I think I last count I had like 110 that I could craft. The only thing... Or craft, yeah, craft. The only thing I'm missing to do more is... Uh, body parts that I can dehydrate, either tallow or... Uh, the uh, dehydrated meat, but uh, I got a pretty good amount of batteries out of the last few spots, and we're gonna go get more here pretty soon. So, until I get my electronics up and get some of the battery mod type stuff working and get one UPSified, that would be awesome if I could manage that. Um, we're kind of stuck there, but I've got lots of the ra other raw materials, the chemicals, so we're good there. If anything does go horribly, horribly wrong with our mutating, then uh, we'll just keep quaffing them until they back themselves down again. 
So, I do want to grab the two serums. We're going to have some fun here. That's serum one, and that's serum two. So I've got the serums, and let's also grab the... Oh, I've got two single doses of mutagen up there. And then I've also got a big old gallon jug of mutagen. Alright, so here we go. Gallon jug of mutagen, 15 doses, feline serum, mutagen, ursine serum, and mutagen. No purifiers. So, <laughs> if it goes horribly, horribly wrong, oh well. Next step, take off my clothes. <laughs> I don't think I would uh, go gigantism in one dose, <laughs> just in case we're going to take our clothes off anyway. Uh, I'm thinking of going and hiding in one of the rooms while I do this. Um, I've got